today we're going to be watching something that I would literally never choose to watch on my own. I have grown a lot in the few years on my channel. I used to be a horror hater. I used to hate everything horror. I was so scared of everything related to horror. And then I grew up. I grew the F up. I usually gravitate towards the genre a lot. Half of my wall is horror movie posters, but something tells me that I am not going to like this movie because it has been branded as TikTok's new scariest movie ever. Everybody on TikTok has been watching this movie and saying it the scariest thing ever. I actually heard about this movie from my friend Cinema Joe over on TikTok. I actually just did a podcast with him, so I'll have a link to that in the description box down below. He told me I had to do a video on this and I trust him. So we're going to be doing it and I haven't even mentioned the title of the movie. Today's movie is called Skin Murray. This movie actually had a short runtime in theaters before its official release on Shudder. This was due to its high anticipation from every single fan waiting for it to come out. It's already hit 1.5 million in the box office with a budget of 15,000. I am so scared. I thought about this video idea last night and then I had a nightmare about it um, when I went to sleep. This is not one of those times where I say I'm scared of everything and that I'm just lying because I do lie. I do lie sometimes. Two children wake up in the middle of the night to find their father is missing and all the windows and doors in their home have vanished. So I guess this is supposed to symbolize, <laughs> this is supposed to symbolize me when I fall asleep on the couch and take a nap and then I wake up to the living room empty and I start crying and I wake up both of my parents and act like the most traumatic thing has ever happened to me because I feel so abandoned and unsafe when really they just went to their room. But I thought I was a lone survivor in the apocalypse because I took a nap and woke up to nobody. It's almost a two hour movie, which is like, to be fair, like it, it's like a very normal amount for a movie, but it's like too long for this type of movie. Like you need to be like 30 minutes <laughs> because I wanna go. But I find most things scary. <gasps> oh! It paused. It was, that was literally like the first thing that happened. Like nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened like the noise just started and I can't I almost just shit myself. That one was on me though I turned up the volume very very loud Was that me or is the audio like not lined up? Guys 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 Guys, Guys! Guys! I miss my mother. Guys! I'm scared and I'm frightened. I miss my mother. That's it. I'm texting Joe. I'm asking him if there's any jump scares. I don't know what that was. What was that? I think this person made this film specifically for me because this is the type. <laughs> guys, I really wish I filmed this at my parents' house because I like, don't want to be here. Like, guys, I don't know if I can finish this like right now. I think I might have to finish it during the day. I can't, ooh, bitch. What am I looking at, dude? Dude, I'm asking Joe. If this is the whole movie, I'm turning it off. Aww. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh my God, oh my God. Stop. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay, it's six, it's been six minutes. It's been six minutes. It's been six minutes. It's been six minutes. I literally might have to call someone to like be here with me because this is like a fucking, oh my God. Like this cheap shot at scaring is really not it. 
the grainiest, darkest footage I've ever seen trying to make out what's happening so you can jump scare me or you can put on some like, cause it's like, honestly, I'm just mad because it's working. I'm mad because it's working. Cause my fucking chest hurts. Like I feel like I have heartburn right now. I'm so scared. If a jump scare happens, I can survive it. If a jump scare happens, I can survive it. No, I can't. What was that? There's like nothing happening. Nothing's happening, but the like the idea that something is going to happen is like way worse than something actually happening. What? You bet whoever Kevin is needs to shut the fuck. <laughs> Falling down the stairs. You oh I'm gonna rant. I'm gonna rant. I'm gonna rant. Pause. I paused it because I'm going to fucking rip this director a new one. You chose to crank up the grain, turn off the lights, and and say that's a story. And I'm not gonna sit here and praise it for scaring me. Anything could scare me. I'm mad and I'm... I wish I had someone to hold me and give me a sweet little hug. <laughs> We got some light, let there be light, but... Okay, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so maybe I was being a little harsh on the director. <laughs> maybe I made some harsh judgments about there not being any light, but something tells me that those lights are gonna go out. Ooh, I'm getting itchy. You see what you're doing? This movie is giving me hives. What the fuck? That is like shit. You know what? Fuck this dad because he's about to leave the whole fucking place and they're gonna have no windows or doors. And it's like, show it. Like what's the harm in showing him walk to a door? Like if it's... Mm -hmm. Why is the dad's voice kind of sexy though? I really don't want to watch their feet the entire movie. If they're not going to have them actually say lines with their face on camera, I'm going to be pissed off. Um, okay. I can do that. I've played The Sims before. How did they go? I don't know. Someone deleted them. I wonder if that's how Sims feel when you're in their house and you're just like deleting the windows. Like I'm gonna delete the window and the door. I'm gonna delete them all. And <laughs> they're just like, where did it go? Dad? Well, maybe if your house wasn't so scary, this wouldn't have happened. I can't fall asleep with the lights on. Well, then too bad. Too bad, Kevin. I, I fear for our girl Kaylee because she doesn't seem like she's gonna survive because Kevin was the one that was sleepwalking. And it's like, Kevin, if you can't sleep with the lights on, just like figure it out. There's a, there's other people in the room right now that would prefer if the lights stayed on. Love you. Love you too. Okay, that was really cute. Would have been even cuter if I actually knew what the said characters looked like and if they had any more dialogue up until that point. Um, or any uh, 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 world building, character building, that would have been great. Would have loved that. Would have loved that instead of this static. I'm gonna fucking, if I, if you, if I see Kyle, the director in the streets, you better watch your mouth when you speak to me. You better watch your mouth. I think it's time to get up. Oh my God, because they don't know. She doesn't know when it's time to get up because they can't fucking see outside because there's no goddamn windows. See, the subtitle said light switch flicking on and off. If I didn't have the subtitle, how would I know what that was? How would I know that was a light switch flicking on and off? I wouldn't have. Because what light switch sounds like that? So this is supposed to capture the essence of staying home alone when you were children and how scary and terrifying it was. Because it was for me. It really was. 
Imagine falling asleep during this movie. Which, by the way, Joe said, Joe Cinema Joe said he fell asleep during this movie. How could you ever fall asleep during this movie? I could fall asleep due to boredom. I wouldn't due to fear. I'm yawning. I'm yawning! Please. Please, 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 please. Damn, po plie as fuck. Toes turned out. Stop! This would have been an awesome five minute short film. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was weird. What the fuck? Do the kids have like a camera? Are they recording all this? Why do we need the first person angle? Why do we need that? Uh -huh. That's ridiculous and stupid. It's either gonna disappear or fucking fall. Please, 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 please. I'm so sorry to my neighbor right there. I got scared I couldn't go. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Uh, <laughs> like, what the fuck are they looking at? Like, that's the thing. It's like, what are they looking at? I think I just pooped a little bit. <laughs> I think I just like, I think I just peed a little bit. Pause, I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> today we have a very exciting sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Lilo. Lilo makes luxury pleasure toys for men, women, and couples. With Valentine's Day coming around the corner, what better gift to get for your partner than a little extra fun for the bedroom? Most of my audience is female and female pleasure is seen as something super taboo, something that we should not talk about, and something really gross or even like disturbing that should just never be mentioned. It's time to break that stigma. I used to be affected by it so deeply. I used to think it was the most sinful thing, like out of everything that I was doing in my life, my own pleasure was would be the one to send me to the underworld. I genuinely thought that. And I thought it would be something that was used against me in blackmail. And now here I am promoting pleasure toys. I'm here to let you know that your own pleasure is not something to be scared of or ashamed of. Today we're going to be talking about the Lily 3. The Lily 3 is celebrating 20 years of pleasure at Lilo. It's paying an homage to the first ever Lilo device, which is the Lily. Lily 3 is perfect to use as a personal massager or for couples play. Lily 3 is designed for women who are on a mission of self-care and recognize that your sexual pleasure is an integral part of that journey whether that be alone or with a partner. This is also a great massager. This is also great for travel. It's discreet, it's small. It's not gonna take up a lot of room in your suitcase. So it can always be by your side no matter where you go. Lily 3 also offers eight different vibration patterns that go from a teasing murmur to a satisfying pulse. You can enjoy unlimited climaxes anytime, anywhere, because the Lily 3 is waterproof and rechargeable. So you don't have to go searching around for batteries every single time you're in the mood. So whether you're starting off your self-care journey or if you've been around this town for a long, long time, you guys should go check out the Lily 3. Like I said, you can get it for a special price of $79 celebrating Lilo's 20th birthday. There will be a link in my description for you guys to go check it out. And remember that Trend Level supports personal pleasure because it's important and it can save lives. It can. So thank you to Lilo for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's get started. I love making videos. Some things are just not worth it. <laughs> Some things simply are not worth it and that's completely okay. I would rather watch the human centipede every single day of my goddamn life than watch the centipede. Fuck you. Mm. Pause, pause. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. I really don't want to watch it. 
Skin of a Rink, uh, the latest horror movie that's sweeping social media as the alleged scariest movie ever. Uh, but is it? Here's a spoiler for your review. This movie might be the closest movie we'll ever get to watching paint actually dry. I'm not trying to be hyperbolic, but I don't think I've ever been this bored watching a movie uh, ever. It is 100 minutes of shots of corners of the ceiling and corners of the wall with some creepy noises. I can't even really pull screenshots because there's nothing to really show. Uh, like is this photo a photo from the movie or is it a photo of my bedroom door? Who knows? Could be either. So what's it about? Uh, that's a good question, and I don't think it really matters. It's a highly experimental horror movie that cares less about the plot and more about the experience, the ambiance, the immersion. But I thought the experience wasn't very scary or stressful. I never felt any tension. Uh, I felt <laughs> nothing. But I admire what it's going for. Nothing. It's using darkness and empty spaces to mess with your head, to make you think you saw something uh, that wasn't there. It's kind of like when you're a kid and you wake up in the middle of the night and it's pitch black and you look for your parents. Uh, that's the feeling it's trying it's to create. Ice. I just don't think it worked. Obviously, fear is incredibly subjective. And I've heard some of the people who find this the most terrifying hate the dark. And that makes complete sense. Also, strangely, this movie might be way more effective not in a theater, which is something I don't think I've ever said before. Like, I could see it being way more intense if you're at home, alone, in the dark, with your headphones in. Play. <laughs> I'm gonna give it an hour. Dad's not here, and I don't think Dad left. I think Dad got sucked into the vortex. I don't know what the the, the point of Skinamarink is. I think Skinamarink is a is a child's um, lullaby, or I think it's like something, right? It's like a child's lullaby or a song. Um, what was that? What was that? I'm so glad I didn't watch that. That's scary oh my god not only was that scary i also only saw my eyes in the reflection of my screen and that scared the fuck out of me i don't know why i'm acting so surprised i'm, I'm like oh my god what i'm like what's happening it's like bitch you're not even watching it but in my defense i think if even if i was watching like what was going on I wouldn't really understand what's going on. And I think skimming through the movie is actually giving me more information about the movie than if I were to watch it. Okay. Strange voice laughs uncannily. I'm not even gonna listen to that. She said she wanted her mom and dad. So I took her mouth away. It's like, where do you get the audacity to do such thing? It's like, they were literally doing nothing and you took her mouth away? You made him stab himself in the eye and you took her mouth away. Like, you're a bitch. And Kaylee was literally running that thing. She was serving them breakfast. She was making sure they got up. She was going into rooms, no fear. And he took her mouth away. What a bitch. This is a way better way to watch the movie. 572 days. So Kevin survived? Sick. So a bunch of flashes uh, of imagery. Um, sir. What was that? Why are you back? Ew, that looks insane. That literally looks insane. Really? That would've got me though, that would've got me. That's a child with no head, okay. I don't like this movie. Collecting my thoughts and giving a review even though I technically didn't watch the movie. The best choice I've ever made was to not watch that because just by the looks of it, I know it actually would have scarred me. This is a movie. <laughs> it's definitely something. It could have been done within 20 minutes. I think the setup for it is drawn out. I think this film dives into the fear of the unknown almost to its fault. I think that, yeah, sure, it scared me, but I'm not leaving this movie thinking that it's a good movie. Just because something scares me doesn't mean it's good. I just wish there was a little bit more character building throughout this movie. It's, it, it, it's very much lacking within plot and kind of riding on these scary standstill images. While that's fine, it's not for me. When I listened to the plot summary from other people, I thought this would be super fun to watch. 
And then I started hearing more about the aspects of the uh, production of it and it started losing me. It did interest me a little bit that it was a little bit more experimental. And then now that I'm watching it, I realize experimental kind of just means boring. <laughs> um, that was a drag. That was a drag. And I'm going to take it back. I'm going to retract that statement because not all experimental film is boring. But I think in this case, standstill shots of ceilings. I genuinely can't. I can't even put together a sentence that sounds more boring than that. I can't do it. I can't do it. If you're going to say that I just hated it because I was scared of it. Yeah. Boom. Nailed it. You literally, you, you, you slam dunked it. You boom. Like you did that. Like you really did that. <laughs> I can't, I can't give you any other explanation. I won't be doing this again. I won't take another recommendation from TikTok. First TikTok recommendation, first TikTok recommended movie, and I'm never doing it again. I'm never doing it again. You can suck my dick. You can literally shove it right up your arse. I'm a skin of dink hater, and there's nothing you can do to stop me because I got Cinema Joe on my side. And don't forget to check out our podcast we just did. Link in the description.